Hey guys, back with another engineering tier list video. This is part two, so let's go straight into it. First off, we have aerospace engineering. A lot of people grow up and are like, damn, I wanna build rockets. But then you get to school and you get to the engineering degree and you start to realize, huh, this is literally rocket science. And it's a really hard degree to do. And on top of that, you probably won't even get to work for SpaceX or NASA because you wanted to build the self-landing rockets. Next thing you know, you're designing airplanes at that point i can't say much because i value my life and all i'm gonna say is you might end up working for a company you don't really want to work for we know i can't say that it was a boy no plans so i gotta put aerospace engineering in the smart tier next up we've got paper engineering we, we i want it you're trespassing on my you. property you didn't win shit in my yard i win all of you daddy chill what the hell is even that? I didn't know this existed until recently, but essentially these are just the people that manufacture paper. Some guy was sitting at his desk, looked at his notepad, found some deep affection for the sheet of paper. I don't understand why you would want to do this. Grab an iPad, type on your computer, save the trees. Like I'm not the Lorax, but I can honestly not understand how somebody who's like wants a stable job in the long run would go for paper engineering. So it's just got to go into just why, because you're literally going into a degree, which you can see is disappearing over time. Next up we've got genetic engineering and see this one is kind of crazy because you're essentially playing God which I think is awesome but the thing is you're also playing with that tool called CRISPR and all those like cloning things. I'm pretty sure you can pay to clone a pet if it's gonna die. It's crazy and you can be a really good person with this solving genetic diseases, you're helping people live longer or you could just want to make everybody the exact same person. Hey Charlie. Hey Charlie. Hey Charlie. Hey Charlie. Hey Big Moist. If I remember correctly, there was a guy who also tried to make everybody look the same. And let's just say he wasn't a great guy. So cool but side eye, cause like, why do you want to edit everyone's genes around you? Next up we got farm engineering and this one is really useful because you know there, if there's no food there's no us and these guys help make that process efficient. You might not hear about it and think it's oh just the farmers but no somebody has to make their tools and especially on those big farms there are some really cool technologies that they use. They're essentially just another type of mechanical engineer with a bit of biology thrown in there and then they also have to keep up with not bruising the fruit that definitely deserves it being placed straight into the engineering tier. Next up, we've got biomedical engineering. This is just everybody's like dream child. They are engineer, doctor. The only thing you're missing is lawyer. And then you've got the trifecta. You are really just trying to make sure your parents are proud with this degree. You're helping the world move a little bit closer to becoming a cyborg. You can't fire me, I quit. You can't control alt delete the Justice League. Hell yes, I can. But the only downside is sometimes you're going to realize that, hey, you're designing a really useful machine that's going to be used by a doctor who makes 10 times your salary and all it takes him is a click of a button. I got to put it into status just because everybody around you is going to just think of you as the doctor engineer. Next up, we've got industrial engineering, and it's kind of just like if the engineering students kidnapped a commerce student and forced him to sit in the lectures, because you're really just more of an engineer that focuses on the business and efficiency aspects of already developed systems. But it's like, you're not doing all the cool stuff that makes an engineer an engineer. You're really just a business major cosplaying with the engineer title. So I gotta put it into like, just why. So next up we got ecological engineering and these are the guys you'd call before you start seeing problems like deer running across your major highways or raccoons in your backyard and it's all typically because some other engineers built a company somewhere and then the animals have no place to go. Hola señor, ¿dónde está mi casa? Suavemente. These guys make sure the ecosystems can still happen without screwing over the humans in the nearby area. And I have to say, they don't get the credit they deserve because they're building those like grass bridges over roadways to make sure the animals can get there safely. I don't know if you've seen a video of a car hitting like a moose or something. The moose will live. You might not. Humans are notorious for just wiping out species like this is some battle royale. So these guys got to go straight into engineering. 
last and probably least we have textile engineering these are the people who are gonna like look at a sheep and be like that's a really nice sweater i want that and essentially they're gonna help make that yarn into a nice sweater and develop all the machines but it's like the stuff people make with those machines really hurts my soul like i don't know if you guys have seen some of the like fashion that they've been coming out with nowadays and at this point i i just i can't approve Like, let's just go back to simple suits like it's the 1960s and none of this like Balenciaga garbage inspired outfits. As a textile engineer, you're essentially allowing this stuff to happen because you're making the machines they use for this. It's so ugly. I can't support something that's that bad. So I gotta put it into just why. <laughs> Thank you for watching today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.